The answer choices make it obvious. We need to think about apostrophes, and apostrophes are meant to show possession. So let's just dive right in and see, you know, kind of what our own sense of it is going to be. In the early 20th century, Joseph Kikuku and other Hawaiian musicians introduced audiences in the mainland United States to the bright and lifting sounds of that guitar. Okay, there's no reason for any apostrophe here. The musicians don't own anything. It's not like it's the musician's guitar. That phrase does not appear there, so there's no reason for an apostrophe on musicians. But notice what they're doing with that, right? That, that sometimes the apostrophe is after the S, sometimes it's before. Just as a review of why that would be the case, in choices D and B, it's because we're talking about multiple musicians, but in C, it's it's singular, right? It's one musician that we're talking about. So what they want is to distract you with that aspect of the rule. But in my experience, on the SAT at least, uh, most of the time when we're being asked about apostrophes, it's much more about whether we need one or not, not about where it goes in relation to that S. So don't let that piece get you. Sometimes they test it. But first focus on just whether or not you need an apostrophe, then worry about where it goes. In this case, it, it doesn't matter, right? We, if musicians doesn't get an apostrophe, then the same thing is true of audiences. It also doesn't get one. And the reason is that it's not, the audiences don't possess anything. The word after audiences is in. So they can't possess an in, they can't own that. That's not the kind of thing that can, that makes any sense. So um, if you see apostrophes questions on the SAT, a lot of the time, the answer might just be that there are no apostrophes. So don't get bullied into putting one there just because that's the other three choices, okay? Think about what their use is, and if it doesn't feel like a good use of them, leave them out.